Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, I'm so excited because we got the Il Maquillage foundation that I've always seen all over Instagram where Il Maquillage sends influencers like foundation that exactly matches their skin tone as you can see over here. And I've always been curious, does this actually work? Because I've always had issues trying to find the right skin shade for me. And it just looks so flawless on all these women. It is absolutely insane. So I decided to, you know what? Order the free foundation, except for $5 shipping. But it's a free foundation that I ordered. And here's how it looks. And they also gave me a free eyeliner. So. Stay tuned and let's see if the shade actually does exactly match my skin tone. And then afterwards, I kind of wanted to go to my downtown because I've never actually explored too much of it. I recently, not recently, but I moved to this town like a year and a half ago and sometimes we go there but I haven't actually walked downtown and actually explored it and had fun in the little downtown area. So let's go ahead and go there afterwards. But let's go ahead and cue the makeup portion. All right, everyone, so this is me up close and personal. Absolutely no makeup at all. Bare-faced. And I have the Il Maquillage foundation right over here. And we're gonna try on to see if it's true, if they really do match with your skin tone perfectly, as the Instagram ads say they do. So let's go ahead and try. I'm very excited about this. I'm right in front of my window, by the way, so it's like the shadows are kind of weird right now, but I'll brighten it up with some editing. So let's see how the shade looks. Looks actually really dark and kind of orange. So from first impressions, it does not look like my skin tone. But let's go ahead and see. Mm, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Let me get my mirror. To be honest, it's kind of giving me orange vibes. This doesn't look right. Guys, what do you think? Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed right now because it looks a lot darker than I expected it to look. The one, the foundation that I just used, I actually was wearing makeup and then I removed it once I saw this package. My usual foundation is a lot like more yellow toned. This is red and I even said like in the quiz that I have more of like a yellow undertone compared to red as you can see. Like what is that? It doesn't look bad, but it's just like, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. But let's just see, let's see how it looks at the end. Like, look how orange that looks. That is not my skin tone. Oh my goodness. What is this? Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, so I just applied some foundation. Let me go into a different lighting and see if it looks better outside, but um, mm, I kind of look like an orange right now. Like this is low key embarrassing. Let me go ahead and show you. This is kind of more natural lighting, guys. I do not like this. Man, the thing about my house is that there's like no like true natural lighting that I really like. Okay, this is the best lighting I'm gonna get. I couldn't find the best lighting out there, but this is it, and I think I look horrible. <laughs> I never actually wore a foundation ever that made me look so orange. Like, look how it oxidizes, everyone. This is not my color. But maybe if I put on the rest of my makeup, it'll look better, so be right back. My cat is chirping right now. But now I have like some blush and bronzer on. I have a little bit of like eyeshadow and lipstick. And I'm not happy with the way it looks, but El Maquillage also sent in a free eyeliner, which is good because I needed an eyeliner. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's like felt tip, love that. And don't mind the faces I make. A 
All right, I really liked the eyeliner a lot. It was super easy to use. I love the felt tip. It's super pointy and it didn't smudge. So I did like the eyeliner. All right, so here is how it looks. This is my face with full makeup, eyes, blush, bronzer, lipstick, everything like that. And now it looks good. Let me see how it looks in person because on camera, I'm absolutely loving it. But let me turn to the mirror. It doesn't look too bad. Oh my goodness. I was like <clears throat> scared for my life in this clip right over here because like I'm just not used to wearing super thick foundations. I'm not used to wearing like foundations that are super like that are a lot darker than me. It looks like I have a nice tan and it kind of matches like my hair color and everything. So I am liking it. I'm not sure if I should keep it or not, but I will say that the formula is really good. I don't think my makeup looks cakey at all. I mean, of course it's foundation, so it's gonna look like something's on your skin, but it's very moisturizing. It doesn't go into your cracks and it goes on very well, I have to say. So I did enjoy the formula. I loved the eyeliner and I needed a new one anyway. I actually got Ariana Grande's REM Beauty line. I got the eyelashes and lipstick and um, I don't have eyelash glue yet, so I can't wear it, but I wonder, I think it would look really good with this outfit. So anyway, everyone, I did enjoy this foundation. I think it doesn't quite match my skin color as much as it says like in these ads over here, but at the end of the day, I am pretty happy with the way it turned out. So I would have to rate this experience a B minus. And now let me go ahead and show you guys what I will wear to my downtown. Kind of reminds me of Stars Hollow in Gilmore Girls a little bit. It's a small town feeling over here. But here's what I'm wearing. All right, so I'm pretty far from the camera, but this is what I'm wearing. I mean, it's literally just like a black long sleeve and some wide legged pants. You can't see it, well now you can see it, but I like the way that this kind of like flares out. This is from Madewell, however, I did get this from Mercari. It's like this online app where you can get like used clothing. So it was, it was pretty affordable because I feel like Madewell is pretty expensive. This was like $3 and I love these pants. Let me show you because the thing is, these are super tight on me. They are size four and I'm not a size four, <laughs> but I think they're so cute. This is what it looks like and I I just think it's the cutest. I love these pants. And I was like, you know what? I am losing a little bit of weight. So I'm gonna try to wear this even though it's still super snug over here. But that is, okay. God, I wish that I could do that. Let's go. Got my keys. And let's head out for the day. Even though it's already like four o'clock. And the sun is like almost setting. But let me go ahead and show you my full outfit. Okay, it's actually freezing. I wish I wore something a little bit thicker, but that's okay. I'm just wearing a little puff jacket, my little booties. And yeah, let's go. All right, I'm here right now. And people look at you when you vlog, so it's just the most awkward thing. But anyway. This was the coffee shop that I went to in my fall vlog. Super delicious. So if you're in the Bay Area, try State's Coffee. So cozy. All right, so it is a bit empty today because of course it's a Thursday right now, but this is a Mexican restaurant right over here. I've never been there before, but I love me some Mexican food. All right, this is gonna be like a little public market and I'm super excited because they're gonna have so many different food stands in here and it looks super cute inside. And here's a cute little salon. And then this place is gonna be like a little, a new brewery which is gonna be exciting to hang out in. And that's what I'm saying, like this place has a lot of potential to be a cute downtown. However, it's just so empty right now. And I just feel like there's so many antique shops that no one goes to, so. Right, 
here's the place I wanted to go to and they have succulents and plants in here. Let's go inside. Anyway, I bought this cute little succulent and cat pot and it's just really cute and I love cute things like that so yay! And that is this little brewery bar over here is where we go sometimes for dinner or for some drinks. Super cute. Okay, so this place looks really good. It's like an Italian restaurant. I want to go here for our next date because it looks really cozy and there are people inside. So hopefully this weekend or something. So now I'm back home and I actually had to attend an orientation for my work. So that's what I'm doing right now. Hello everyone. It is several hours later. It's like eight something. It's like 8.30 right now. And this boba was amazing, it was super good, but I forgot to film me drinking it. But before I go, let me go ahead and show you what I got at the two little cute little home stores in my downtown area. But, okay, so the first one was from this place called Lavender Moon. And, okay, we have a new baby in the family, so I got some baby things. And I got this cute little teddy bear for the new baby. It's a girl too, she's super cute. So I have a little teddy bear for her, for her to hug at night. And then I also got these cute little socks as well, sock slippers. Oh, do I want a baby girl someday? You just get the cutest things for girls. So there's that, but they also have a boy too. So I gotta find something for the boy. And then I just got myself another succulent. I know, oh my gosh, guys. I'm not the best plant mom, I'll tell you that. But I love me some plants. Like, this is my dream, guys. This, there's this girl on YouTube and Instagram. Here's her house. And it's just full of greenery. And she's so good with her plants. And her house just looks so vibrant and colorful and just full of life and plants. And I want that for me. That's like my dream interior decoration style, but it's not that way. But hopefully someday. But I got myself a succulent. And then I got the cat pot for the succulent, but I'm gonna put it in here. It doesn't fit, but I'll try to figure something out. But yeah, I got that as well. Just because I love these little pottery designs. I have a friend on Instagram, her name is It's Faith Time. And now she makes pottery and like different ceramics and go ahead and check her out. Like her ceramic pieces are so beautiful. I love pottery. I don't know if this is pottery, but it's cute. It's very cute. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog slash like makeup try on foundation video because it was really fun. Actually, I haven't enjoyed making a video in so long. And honestly, turning on the camera, talking to you guys and to having fun with you all really brightens up my day, trust me. Like, again, my last video, my, my winter blues video has been hard, but I do truly enjoy YouTube. It's just 
sometimes it's hard. But anyway, I love you all so much. If you want to join this cozy family, go ahead and subscribe and press the like button. I love you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!